This is our multimedia filter designed to remove metals such as iron, manganese, and uh, minerals from all sources of water. Now how this work works, water comes in through the top, down through a drop pipe in the center of it, to the bottom where it diffuses out, and then it goes through a bunch of layers on the way back up. There'll be a thicker, coarser gravel on the bottom, and as we move up, there'll be finer and finer sediment all the way up to the top, which is normally an anthracite, really fine sand grains. Now how this works is our chemical, or our chlorine injection is injected upstream of the filter and once the chlorine is injected it starts the oxidization process. Now the oxidization works, it takes all the little liquid forms of iron, clumps them up together into bigger particles which then can be filtered out by the different layers of sand in here, removing the hazardous minerals from our water. Now how it works is I'm going to actually start out a backwash on this. So manually backwash, you hit the check mark button and it's going to rotate this blue thing. But in the back, there's this brass valve that is a three-way valve. So when you're backwashing water out, you're fluffing up your media on the outside of this, which is directing water out to waste. And each cycle on this situation is run for a minute, but every water plant will have an engineered time that this unit will backwash to give it enough fluff to make sure all the particles get out to get maximum use out of these filters. So you have a, your pressure coming into the media filter and then you have a pressure coming out of your media filter and you want to backwash when they reach between 10 to 15 psi. Now how you tell when it's time to do a backwash manually, you, you check for the pressure gauge in front of the unit and you check for a pressure coming out of the unit. Now when those two pressures get to 10 psi differential between each other, then it's time to do a manual backwash on your media filter. But you also can control it from your HMI screen, and your controls for that are F310 more settings. This is also reading your pressure going into the media filter, your pressure coming out of the media filter, and it also records the differential between the two of them. Now when this gets up to 10 psi, the system will automatically trigger a backwash, and you can also have more settings coming in here. You can set how much water between backwashes. You can set time between backwashes. And you can set the differential pressure on here. We have it set to 10 PSI. So when it gets to 10 PSI, it will trigger a backwash. Or you can also add it to the queue and manually backwash it from here as well.